Hey guys, it's Jess here and uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. First off, God, I'm... let's consult the script. Hey guys, how are you going? It's Jess here and today I wanted to have a bit of a chat with you about something which I find extremely extremely frustrating in my life and perhaps you do too if you're watching this with me right now and that is oily skin it is something that I've had to deal with and live with since I was probably about 12 I've even got some photos here to show you of some awesome memorable moments from my life skin is incredibly common so many people have it uh, some people have it worse than others though me included the oil that the skin produces can often clog up the pores and cause further problems like acne and breakouts and things like that so it is an incredibly frustrating problem to deal with uh, hopefully though in this video I'll be able to show you a few ways that you can prevent oily skin and also manage it so let's get on with the first one shall we and that is prevention starting with some general I suppose healthy living and well-being tips and the first one is is try and stay away from junk food and really greasy fatty oily foods I know they are delicious but they should always just be taken in moderation another thing people bang on about all the time is drinking water specifically these eight magical glasses of water now try and have as much water as you can handle by having eight glasses of water or two liters of water every day can end up being a bit of a hassle so you might want to think about swapping things out another one is exercise. Sorry, that was really bad. Exercise is something though that can really help to regulate the oil production in the skin because it can help to get toxins out, help to get the sweat out, especially in those hotter months when people tend to sweat, perspire a lot more and when you're mixing sweat and perspiration with oil production, yeah, things can get a little bit messy. So definitely try and exercise just to help regulate your system. This next tip is one that can take up to three months to really take effect, but once it does, it could be your absolute best friend, and that is fighting oil with oil. What usually happens to very oily skin people is that the skin is actually overcompensating in a way. And so one way to combat that is to hit it with some more oil, to tell it, hey, slow down, I need you to stop producing all that oil. Basically what you need to do is just apply a oil to your face every night. This can be something that isn't going to clog the pores, okay, so I'm talking your vitamin E, uh, jojoba oil, coconut oil. If you want to use one that is commercially available, there's also bio oil that does the same thing if you guys have any other ideas about other oils to use on the skin then definitely leave me a comment below definitely give the oil versus oil trick a bit of a go there's a couple of things I want to mention that are in a similar vein to that one of them is moisturizer some people skip their moisturizer because they think oh I don't want to be adding any more moisture or you know good glossy shine to my face than what is already there this can actually cause your skin to again overproduce oil and overcompensate so don't skip the moisturizer definitely apply that every morning and in terms of using your favorite pH balanced gentle cleanser on your face just stick to doing this every morning and night my final preventative tip is all about something that you should perhaps try avoid using excessively and that is alcohol no not that kind although maybe but in this instance what I'm talking about is the kind of alcohol that can be present in certain types of uh, toners cleansers even cosmetics there are certain products that you can use to perhaps spot treat and I think that is the best way to use alcohol or alcohol based products just on spots you know just to quickly dry them out but if you're going to be using toners and things like that all over the face just be really cautious about it and uh, see how your skin reacts <sighs> Okay, that was a lot of information to take in. Thank you for sticking with me so far. I hope you are still with me because we are about to tackle oil management. Those sorts of things might be a little bit like, oh my God, $6 for a pack of paper. Well, yeah. Another way that you can do it is to basically use